So think about this. What if you could lose weight and get closer to God at the same time? Yeah. Let me explain. Actor Chris Pratt announced to his Instagram followers that he's doing a 21-day religious cleanse. Some call it the Daniel diet or the Daniel cleanse, the Daniel detox. And this is something that's deeply rooted in the Bible. It, ex it pairs extremely clean eating with Bible study. And it's a diet in many ways that's based on the prophet Daniel, whose exile in Babylon is detailed in the Old Testament. Now, some of the foods that are allowed, you have, Dr. Baja. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the fascinating thing is these are all things we've been talking about for a long time as good for you, like legumes, like lentils. We're talking about flax seeds, basically the whole idea, quinoa, fresh vegetables and fruits. Things that basically Daniel on his exile in Babylon in the Old Testament was foregoing those royal foods and was eating things that were plant-based, not processed. That's the, the principle of this. So I think Chris Pratt is doing this for a 21 day cleanse or detox and it's actually catching on. But what I find fascinating is that sort of combination of the religious element mm -hmm. and the diet itself because that's not new that's actually imbued in a number of cultures I know in Hinduism we often talk about fasts related to our diet Jews do this as well so it's it's kind of a interesting moment now for spirituality plus diet and if spirituality can help you when it comes to kickstarting good health that's a great thing all the foods that are a part of this are really really healthy and so I, I would I've always said that I don't love a cleanse where people starve themselves and have a few different types of food. You know, when I look at this, this is these are the kinds of foods that would allow your body to do what I call its own cleanse. You know, these are high fiber foods. All of those foods are would fit within the spectrum of veganism, right? Um, and it's something that if you do it the right way, it could be done in a very healthy way. Mm -hmm. And what I also like is that one of the most important things when you're going to kickstart a healthy new habit, I always say if you're going to let food be your medicine, you first have to stop allowing it to be your poison. And what I do like about you know, this thing that Chris Pratt is doing is he's eliminating a lot of the foods that we know aren't good for us. Now, while I do believe the benefits of coffee and occasional red wine, I'll go with that. But as part of this Daniel cleanse or Daniel diet, there's no alcohol, no coffee, no processed meats or processed foods, refined carbs. And, and that's a good thing because these refined, highly processed foods we know can lead to weight gain, inflammation in the body. And so I, I just think it's a nice gentle reminder of clean eating, maybe clean thinking. If you get closer to God, that's a great added yeah. bit. They go hand in hand. Yeah, but, but I do think anytime you are adopting a diet like this, just make sure you're getting adequate protein, you're getting your B12, B12 you're getting your nutrients. Because I think what this has on veganism is that it does also eliminate processed foods. So you don't get those sugars, you don't get those fats. But uh, I think just as always, anytime you adopt any sort of a diet fast, make sure you run it by your doctor because you may have other health issues where this isn't tenable, but make sure you're also getting your other nutrients.